Well, no matter where you live in the Madison area, chances are you've had an encounter with a <laughs> wild feathered friend. It's not your imagination. The turkey takeover is everywhere this year. The influx of turkeys is actually a comeback success story. Let's talk turkey with David Drake. He is an extension wildlife specialist and professor in the Department of Forest and Wildlife Ecology at UW Madison. Hi, David. David good Thanks to see you. Today. Thank you for inviting me. So, it's not our imagination. I mean, I've lived in the city for 40 years, and there weren't turkeys a long time ago. Not 40 years ago, though. Not, not in the city, but it, it's not uh, it's not a recent event either. And I think that they've been in the city probably for 10, 15 years, something like that. And I know it seems like there's more and more each year, but they've been here and, and, and they might be growing a little bit, but I think we're also becoming more cognizant or uh, uh, um, observing them a little bit more than we usually do. Is there anything specific going on this time of the year with the turkeys? Yeah, so they're kind of a seasonal bird. So, you know, they're, they're a resident species. They stay here, they don't migrate. Uh, they're a native species, so they belong here on the landscape. Um, and in the wintertime, they tend to flock up. So they have a mixed, spe uh, mixed sex flock, so both males and females will get together. And then as winter starts to wane and spring comes on, then the males start to gain these hormones in their body and they start to get kind of aggressive and, and they start uh, getting interested in breeding the females. And then they'll start breaking up, uh, that, those flocks will break up in the springtime. Uh, the males will, will mate the females and the females will go off on their own and uh, nest uh, and then they kind of will, uh, the females will spend the summer taking care of the young, what we call the poults, and then uh, the whole cycle will repeat again this time of the year. They'll flock back up and keep going. So it's the aggression of, of the toms in the spring. It's the mating season. They're pretty docile the rest of the year? Relatively docile, yeah. You know, I mean, I think that they're, they're going to flee you more than, uh, than bother you. And it's just in the spring, it's typically the toms or those male, adult male turkeys. You know, their, their bodies are surging with hormones and they just don't know what to do, do with themselves. <laughs> chase point. the mailman. Yeah. Chase, chase the mailman or find a female. And if you can't find a female, chase the mailman. So. What, what do you do if your dogs go after them? If you're walking your dogs and they want to... Yeah. I mean, are they, can you approach them or is it dangerous to do that? Yeah, I think you can approach, you, you know, they're, it's a turkey. So it, relatively speaking, uh, it's not like approaching a mountain lion, for example. So, <laughs> yes, yes. And I think if you have your dog, you know, certainly you, should, you probably need to keep your dog on a leash anyway uh, mm -hmm. while you're walking the dog at all times just for the safety of the dog and for other people and things like that. So if you've got your dog on a leash and you see turkeys, that uh, likely there's not going to be any negative incident going on and, and likely the turkeys are going to probably look at you and your dog about out of curiosity, but not approach you. Um, and, you know, the bigger size the dog is, uh, if the dog starts barking, that's going to probably likely intimidate the turkeys and they're going to kind of stay stay uh, a decent uh, ways away from you. Here we just saw them crossing the street. Yeah, it seems to be a, a big problem on my yeah. neighborhood. You have to be careful. <laughs> you, you, you stop. I mean, yeah. I heard don't honk the horn. Is that a, is that a fallacy? No, well, I think if you honk the horn, it may scare them. You know, the issue with not just turkeys, but it could be deer or raccoons or crows, whatever the case is, that, you know, these animals that live in the city with us, they habituate to us or start losing their fear of human beings. And as that occurs, then they get a little bit more bold and perhaps you, you might honk your horn and nothing happens. Uh, whereas a turkey that may have just come into the city uh, and may not be as used to the sights and sounds of human beings, if you honk your horn, they might react a little differently. Um, but it doesn't hurt to honk your horn. You, you may even want to you know, edge your car toward <laughs> them just a little bit. Because for all these species of wildlife that are in the city, if we can maintain fear of humans in those species, then we can have more of a, a positive and peaceful coexistence with these with these animals and, and likewise with them with us. Mark was saying he likes the sounds. I, I, yeah. I just love the, they're beautiful yeah. birds. Oh yeah, they're awesome. They're absolutely yeah. awesome birds. You know, they, they yelp and, oh, I know. and <laughs> cluck and uh, <laughs> gobble and all sorts of other things like that. And most of that occurs in the springtime when they're mating and the, the males are using all those different sounds to attract the female and then the female will yelp and, and cluck to uh, communicate back to the males. And yeah, it's pretty pretty neat. Just enjoy them. Yeah, for sure. Don't run them over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> David, thanks for being Great with to us see today. You, David. Thank you, Thank for you so me. much. Yeah.